What is going on guys, today we are looking at Larsen, the cheapest and the lowest SPC for the Denmark Trio. He's 92 rated, same as Hataboa in the Nation player um, for the Dutch. I think it was just a random SBC, I want to say. I don't think it was a trio. Um, or if it was, I've completely missed it. But we've got a solid player on him, and some of the stats look pretty good. He's come from a 75 rated gold, which is just insane that they're given such good rating upgrades to players that don't normally get it. Obviously, throughout the whole year, he's had absolutely no informs. He is 30 years old, and he started FIFA in FIFA 19. So I'm assuming in his career he played in a team that wasn't in FIFA but 19 20 and 21 seen him get silver cards for the first two years and this is his first gold year and he's managed to get himself a 92 nation player in terms of kind of like stats I think the the biggest bonus well the biggest kind of weakness in fact for me is that composure that for me is a big big loss and we will take a look at the difference between him and Hataboa in the overall review he is a three star four star as well so I think if Hataboa is 4-4 he's automatically won in my books pace was fantastic we're going to be whacking a hawk on him which gives him 99 also gives him 95 on the finishing rather than 90 taking his finishing or his shooting up to 96 and then he does get a little bonus on obviously that physical taking up to 94 and turn him into a 94 right wing so let's jump into him he is obviously right footed with the three star four star solid player trait and he's coming in at around about 70,000 coins for 183 um, let me just double check 183 rated team 80 chem one Serie A player let's see what Larson can do for us Larson putting in the effort there is he on side he's not but he does absolutely whip it as well very very unlucky gets himself his first opportunity but he was just offside into Larson we've got the pace can we see a little bit in he's going to try and take it all the way himself good little block that's nice little dribble one more inside, into Braithwaite. Oh, that's a great turn, and that's a stunning goal. Larson with a 1-2 with Cannavaro. Can we get it? It's found Maradona. One more into Larson. Still on side. Nobody's in the box. He's going to do the little deed anyway, and R9 gets himself free ahead of the ball, and it's a lovely headed goal. I think Larson's definitely put a shift in, to be honest with you. He's got the pace down the wing. The only thing that I'm, I'm just thinking for me that is the the kind of the clincher is that composure. Obviously, that will show itself eventually. But then also, can we whip that ball into Braveway? Oh, no, it's not. It's R9 on the other side. But then, like I was saying, with, with Larson, obviously he's got that assist play, but I think that composure eventually, like I say, will show itself. But then also, that's going to be a goal. Oh, he's screwed it. But then, obviously, as well, is the fact that he has only got the three-star to four-star, obviously, skill moves and then weak foot. So, again, it all depends on what Hatabo has got. But I remember really enjoying that card. So, it's going to be an interesting one to see who's worth it. I think if you could get an untradeable 83 team for him, I think that is more than possible uh, kind of like worth it. Just because, obviously, then you've got like a 92-rated card to whack into an SBC if you did need it. What on earth happened there? Great block from Cannavaro. So I think for me, I would say Larson most definitely is a fodder-based player just for the fact that it is only an 83-rated team to give up, which really at this stage of the game isn't that bad. A couple of goals of the 85 to 90 team of the season, and you've got that done with literally no cards whatsoever. So that's going to be an interesting one. And then obviously with the rest of them, it's all dependent. I think Delaney for me is the only one that I think, I suppose Braithwaite could, but I think Delaney's definitely got a, a, a kind of into maybe a starting team. A little shot there by uh, Larson. Delaney picks out Larson, goes for the shot, and that's a cracking volley. Honestly, beautiful from Delaney, and Larson gets himself another goal. Great out by Larson. Took me a second to register that then. Larson with a stunning ball over to R9. Larson gets a penalty for it as well. Larson being very, very quiet to start with in this game. Got to get him into it. Larm's going to see it. Does manage to find him down the wing. We've got a bit of pace here. He's come over into R9's territory, but he's not managed to make that, that cross. Lovely ball from the keeper. Into Larson, who's going to nearly see it past Rosalion. So going into the overall for Braithwaite, then. 
Honestly, not a bad card. Did find himself a little bit isolated at times. Defenders on him completely, and he just struggled to kind of make it past three or four defenders. Obviously, a little bit of a, a bigger striker to some extent. 5'10's not the smallest, but I just felt like he needed that little bit extra boost. In terms of shooting ability, was absolutely phenomenal. He had some very, very good shots on him. Again, like I say, the traits would have been perfect with an outside of the foot or, f or finesse at the very least. I personally would prefer finesse. That is just my per personal preference of shooting. In terms of kind of pace and, and holding the ball up, once he gets it, he's got a lot of people around him, and that's normally a good sign that people are worried about him. Obviously, we went with a hawk, gives him these stats, which are absolutely impeccable. And like I say, he's coming in at a very, very good price for a card like this so i would say grind it out and try and get all of them 134k for him personally again if you are using an 85 rated team you can obviously get a night was he 93 was he or 92 i can't remember now literally i just looked at him 93 um for me i think that's great an 85 rated team even if you don't like him if you're giving up on tradables perfect you literally are going to get a 93 rated card as a bonus for it plus then you can get a prime gold at the end of it obviously in terms of kind of like where he's come from he is 30 years old and he's had a few cards in his day obviously middlesbrough uh, bordeaux um that's the second division spanish team that i cannot remember the name of and then obviously barca from last year and this year He's managed to get a 93, which is obviously way above any card that he's actually got. And I think it's brilliant. I love this sort of cards, these sort of kind of promos where people who necessarily don't get a lot of informs, as we are seeing here, are now getting huge upgrades. It adds just a different dynamic to the game, and I'm really all for it. I think for me, Brave White... He's definitely second in the running. I think Larson was nice, but again, I think there's competition, and I don't think he's the top of his game whereas i think this card definitely can put in a shout um in terms of la liga strikers you've really got messi who's obviously goaded um benzema i feel like um martin will definitely be ahead of him in pace but in, in terms of shooting and kind of physicality benzema will always take that cake um felix I, I don't think i even tried felix in the end and i heard not very good things really enjoyed isaac for he was cr absolutely cracked um griezmann again was a nice striker do I think that he's worth 848k? Probably not, but he's obviously up there for a reason. Unfortunately, didn't manage to get the upgrade up to a 97, 8 or 9, which would have been absolutely perfect for him. So I think for me, he's definitely within a shout. If Messi's too expensive, which predominantly a lot of people are not spending 1.6 anymore. If then you've not got Benzema, maybe you've not looked at Isaac yet and Felix is with, out of your category. Maybe you've just got fodder. He definitely is a shout for a, a player that you'd put in. So I personally think that he's definitely usable in a La Liga team in terms of Denmark again you've got a few decent players Ericsson obviously was an objective so he would be perfect in this scenario right now but other than that I feel like there is kind of like a lackluster in certain positions obviously we're not going to go into it but you can kind of see that we've got centre-back DM striker right mid left mid we can't really see left back right back it's always interesting to have a look at the full squad and see what are we missing, basically. But most definitely, the past couple of weeks, we've got some really good cards for Denmark. Very, very big to them. And personally, just I hope them all the best, obviously, for tomorrow's game against England. Personally, I do prefer us to win, but they have definitely done themselves proud. Overall rating for Martin, then, I'm going to give him a solid 9.2 out of 10. Let me know down below what you think about him. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you all for the next one. Pieces.